Greetings Metal community, it's Roger back with another collection update, Death Metal this time. Um, yeah, CD, tapes and vinyls, a uh, total of 10 maybe. Uh, in the background we are listening to a absolute killer album that I've been playing a lot these last couple of days, Melting Ice, my final resting place. Uh, I think they're from the Netherlands, by the look of the names at least. Um, place a kind of a, you know, tempo or music wise, it's kind of like Asphyx, um, early Asphyx, I would say, and um, Soulburn feeling on Angels, uh, but a totally different vocal uh, vocals. Great vocals on this one. Uh, he reminds me a little bit of uh, the vocals <coughs> in uh, Mythological Cold Towers. And uh, yeah, but this is just a killer riffing album, perfectly produced for this music. Heavy, juicy guitars. And, this, and as I said, the vocals kind of stand out uh, because, yeah, not many vocalists sounds like him. So, uh, Melting Eyes. Killer, killer album. Uh, I played this uh, probably ten times this weekend and still loving it. Then I got the new uh, Chasm Dweller, self-released Flesh Crusade on uh, just a cardboard um, CDR. Yeah, Chasm Dweller, uh, kind of the new wave of death metal style. Uh, did not enjoy this as much uh, the first couple of listens, but uh, it grew on me. Uh, still need to listen to it a little bit more, but uh, it's a grower. Uh, yeah, same style as uh, a lot of the other bands play, and uh, but they do it pretty good. It's kind of a short album. I think it's uh, 29 minutes or something. Uh, so somebody would call it an EP, but uh, does it really matter? Um, yeah, uh, Canadian band, if I'm not remembering totally wrong. Uh, great, great stuff. Uh, still think the EP that came out last year or the year before is a little bit better, but I listened to that more. So, uh, but it's in, in the same way uh, way as the previous stuff. So, if you like if you like chess chess well, you will probably like that as well. Then I bought two tapes from um, Drykov with a thank you note and a sticker. Uh, the first one, uh, Liam uh, over at uh, Death Doom Metalhead showed this in his last uh, New Wave of UK Death Metal. Penny Coffin, I think he said the drummer was based in Greece, the rest of them are in Scotland. Um, cool uh, tape. <clears throat> Drykov is a great label, uh, do never disappoint. Uh, again, the same style, you know, as a lot of death metal these days. Uh, the downside with this one is uh, kind of the vocals has some distortion, and I, I don't like that at all. Um, but the music is pretty damn good, but uh, uh, the vocals drags it a little bit down for me. Uh, hope they will um, not do that in the future, but um, that's up to them what they want to do. Did come with a sticker as well. The second one I bought from um, Drykov was uh, this uh, band called Plague Patrol Demo 2021. Uh, this is a uh, band out of Czech. Czechia and this is a great great release um, heavy uh, not so much doom there are doom parts here as hello oh, death doom parts here as well but they kind of are very short and then they speed up the same kind of guitars and yeah play play the songs faster uh, they are more brutal and, and more up tempo uh, great production, excellent vocals, and you know the drummer. The, the drummers these days has cracked the code when it comes to to play 
perfect drumming for this type of music. Um, and as I said, great production on this. Uh, if you listen to this on YouTube, the sound is not that good, but if you go to Bandcamp or listen to the tape, uh, the sound is much better. Uh, it's a damn well produced demo and a great death metal album. Uh, as I said, mid-paced, up-tempo uh, death metal for the most part, with some small uh, doom elements. Uh, and also they have this uh, lead, um, kind of lead guitars, and uh, not so much solos, but they have these leads that are really cool, that spice things up a little bit. So, um, Bay Patrol, this was a really good one. A great, great death metal release. Then I bought the... Um, that was the two I got from from Drakov. Then I bought this directly from the band uh, Decay Encrypt from the US. Uh, great uh, sounding in a way, but the guitars drowns a little bit. So the music is great, but the overall impression of the the um, the release is kind of uh, yeah. There's nothing on the tape. It's just. Uh, it's kind of a little bit shame because uh, if the guitars have been lifted up a little bit, it's it's. Uh, I mean, it doesn't pop out from all the others uh, releases in the same vein. But uh, uh, if they had uh, gotten the guitars up a little bit better, then maybe uh, it's still solid, uh, and you know, you don't go wrong buying this. But uh, it's kind of there's a lot of stuff similar sounding than this and, and that has better production so this kind of yeah but uh, I will be interested in listening to uh, newer stuff of, of this with a slightly better production I mean the production is not bad it's just um, kind of out of balance uh, with, the, with the drums and the vocals are pretty good synced and then the guitars are kind of a step lower um, and, and that Kind of destroys the heaviness of the the um, the music, uh, but yeah, it's still a, a good listen. So um, I will link uh, everything up below as always, so you can go and check it out. Then I bought uh, yeah four vinyls to show. This is a well not a classic, but uh, it's a classic band from the Death Doom or Funeral Doom. This is the reissue of uh, Alloy. Skepticism. Uh, Skepticism is a well-known or kind of a, a cult band into the funeral doom, uh, doom death uh, music. Kind of, um, yeah. It, it's, I mean, it's doomy stuff. And and uh, but the cool thing about this band is that they have this uh, kind of church organ that are kind of uh, following the music which is pretty cool and and make them kind of stand out a little bit uh, this uh, reissue from Svart has also uh, got the um, ice EP attached to it uh, so you get a full album and an EP for um, for the price of one and uh, yeah great reissue sounds great I haven't played all the stuff, but I just played uh, side A to check out the sound quality, and that was uh, really good. Then I bought a. Uh, finally, going to Chile again. I love Chilean uh, death metal or metal in general. Uh, this is Godless. I think this came out in 2016. Um, Mesaco. Uh, release a uh, great label and uh, distributor of metal uh, as this inner really great uh, heavy death metal um, has this um, I wouldn't say they have this South, uh, South American feel to them as a lot of the bands have uh, more towards the you see now but this etched b-side is awesome i mean i love this type when i put all the songs on one side and i do something like this on the b-side that that's just pure quality it's clear from the screen there which was annoying but uh yeah 
killer music, killer death metal, uh, mid-tempo, um, juicy uh, death metal. And um, yeah, I mean, you have to go and listen to it yourself. But uh, for me, this was a very nice surprise. I uh, have not anything else by this band. And uh, kind of a blind buy when I went into Mesaho and just... I listened to one song and just instantly thought this was for me. So uh, yeah, cool cover as well, and uh, and it's kind of um, it's it's kind of difficult to describe. There's no like uh, separating them from the masses other than the quality of the riffs and the song structure uh, and the production as well is spot on for this type of music. So this was a uh, killer one. Uh, the title is uh, something yeah, in Latin, which I'm not gonna try and read with those letters. Then I got the new Hyperdontia. So I do believe this is a Danish band. Turn down the light a little bit. Um, killer covers. Well, you know, um, Ben Scooter cover. With the lyrics inside here and uh, Black Vinyl, of course. Uh, Mesaho release again. Uh, musically, this is kind of, I would say, you get hints or, or sequences of like Bull Thrower and Cannibal Corpse and Suffocation in here, but uh, also the new wave of death metal as well. So it's pretty variated in, in, in with technicality and, and, you know, just straightforward death metal. Uh, very well balanced, well produced as well, and uh, yeah, I really like this album. Uh, I still think the um, uh, previous album is slightly better, but I play that way more than this. So, uh, and, but uh, the first uh, couple of listeners was uh, not disappointing at all. So, um, I guess Hippodontia has a lot of yeah, a lot of people show this and. Um, I guess a lot of people have already listened to it, so... Uh, but a great, great album, and then... Um, one absolute classic at the end, the reissue of... Um, Symphonies of Sickness, Carcass, uh, had to have this on vinyl. I just have a uh, piss-poor CD version of it. Has this... Um, nice, beautiful inner... With some uh, lovely artwork. Uh, as expected from uh, Carcass, uh, sounds great. I still think that uh, um, Necroticism is uh, Necroticism is better than this, but uh, they are slightly. I mean, they are so close in quality for me that it's kind of difficult to separate them. Uh, but a great, great album by Carcass. Uh, at least top two carcass releases ever and um, and you, if you haven't heard the old carcass stuff you know uh, start with this one and, and work your way up the first album is too, can be too brutal uh, for some people but it's good that as well but uh, yeah very happy to have this on um, on vinyl so yeah that was it for this video um, 40 minutes perfect time and um, yeah thanks for uh, subscribing and watching thanks for the comments and uh, there will be more stuff pretty soon so um,